Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkis and I'm from IGS Electronics. So today we're going to be continuing with CRX at WP231 where we're going to be checking out how to control the controller without having to have the PLC basically on its own. And for that we're going to be using a uh, TP700 which is the comfort panel which can uh, which uh, has a support to this uh, Modbus DCP. So uh, with this uh, HMI, the reason we're using this HMI is because Siemens has already have a created a program for this HMI. So uh, we're just gonna go onto the website, pick up there a program and load it into the HMI. So many of you probably will link it, but wait a second, comfort, you have gotta have advanced, I think it's called comfort, Vinci C Comfort or something like that. Anything about that, that program costs quite a bit of money. You don't. So because Siemens has created the file where you can actually use it as a restore file. They call it actually restore file. And so you can add a, a load of the program into the software or program, whatever, whatever we want to call it. You can load that into your HMI using a uh, memory card, which is a, a Siemens SD memory card, which is in the back of the HMI right in here. That's not what we're gonna do today because for that, we're gonna have a separate video where we're gonna be covering the actual comfort panels itself. So what are we, what we are gonna be doing today, we're gonna be using a program called ProSave. ProSave is a free software from Siemens. You gotta be registered with Siemens to be able to get that. We'll leave that in the link in the description below, which will allow you to load that uh, a uh, file onto your HMI and pretty much your HMI will be ready to go. So that is the cheapest way to do it. If you have the controller and you have the uh, touch panel and there's nothing you need to check, uh, change and things like that, so you don't you don't need a PLC, just connect straight to your CVRX, uh, it's all what you need. Especially if your scale has broken down and you don't have a program, that's just for you. We're going to make two part videos. It's going to be one part. We're going to be checking out how to uh, obviously load the program into the HMI and uh, pretty much go through all the process. In the second one, we're going to be checking out the actual uh, uh, some of the settings, uh, not the calibration. Calibration is more or less already been done. Siemens has done really cool videos, so do check them out because they're really good videos they've done for calibration. What we are going to be checking out with things like limits and more or less advanced settings and uh, and also we'll be checking out the I.O. wiring. When I say I.O. Uh, inputs and outputs and also I will check out the analog as well. How that uh, wiring works on a controller and what they actually do and how to set them up within the software. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So it's going to be part A and part B. So do, if, you, if, you want, if you're just interested in uh, how to get the program into the HMI, check the part A. And part B is more or less about actual uh, going into the actual software itself, checking out what is all available and the wiring of IOs. That would be the part B. So yeah, that's what we do today. Uh, don't forget to check out all the previous videos we've already done for this controller. So uh, yes, and it's be part of the S400 series PLC playlist. So yeah, that's what we do today. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> So before we get started, so uh, we need to check a couple of settings within the HMI settings to make sure they are uh, exactly where they need to be for our uh, project, that we uh, planned project that we're planning to do. So we need to go into the settings. So uh, we're going to check in this album more in future videos when it's going to be covered separately. But for now, I want to check out and make sure my IP address is there. So my IP address is 192.168.0.2. So that's the one you need to remember. That's the one you're going to need. This is of the actual HMI. And also, you need to go into transfer and you need to uh, change this uh, setting in here for the Ethernet. So, uh, so uh, we are able to uh, transfer the program uh, from our laptop. So we are the Ethernet, so uh, clicking OK. So uh, having done that, so come on, let's accept that. Save the settings. So once I save the settings, so now we are ready to go and work on a laptop with a pro save. So uh, we'll see you in a bit. So uh, once you click the link in the description below, which is going to take you to this page, it will be called TIA project ready for use. So uh, if you scroll down right here on the bottom, you will find ready for use mod bus. So that's the one we need to work on. And one thing is uh, you need to make sure and in most cases, 
probably about 95% of the time, the uh, default address that the actual this setup has been set up is at still at 192.168.0.21. If something doesn't work and there's no communication between the HMR and your controller, it means it's highly likely that somebody has changed the IP. So, uh, but if it's straight out of the box, you are no problem. So, as you can see down here, it is a TP700 restore image that which for direct download to TP700 Comfort via memory card, USB flash drive, without TI a portal so we are going to be using a pro save and in the future videos we're going to be checking out how to use this hmi and load stuff in with these guys usb and uh, memory card so uh once you get the file don't forget don't forget you need to be registered with siemens and approved to be able to do that so do make sure that is done beforehand so uh there's a file right inside that file you will find ready for use mod bus close that so, uh, and in here, as you can see, restore image NTIA portal project. So, uh, that's the guy in here. Once we've done that, so I pulled it out, so I know where it is. We are able to start pro save. We start up the pro save. And as I remember, we changed that to a communication is going to be Ethernet. Our IP address is right there. And because I've already been playing with it, my restore image is going to be there already. So as you can see down here, my firmware is going to be loading. It's going to be 15.01, blah, blah, blah. And obviously all the other files is going to be there. So and if you want to find it by clicking this button, it will take you to this. Obviously, you need to find where the file is. And there's my file. And just by clicking open. If all went well, only thing is left to do is a click a restore, start restore. So it's going to prompt you with a message that they will wipe everything that is in there so when you use this function data in the device is lost whatever the name is for more details see the online help section we know we're going to be wiping everything off so let's go yes here we go as well there we go my communications has started and it is backing up what it's calling it the backup is being copied back sounds weird but it is what it is so uh let him do that it'll take roughly about five well, not five minutes, about two to three minutes. So we'll be right back. Here we are. We're almost, almost there. So uh, a couple of minutes still, uh, one more minute left. And that should be it. Once it finishes up, is load. As you can see on my HMI, sits at 97%. Not sure why, what is he thinking down there? Come on, let's finish it up. And your HMI should automatically, here we go, automatically restart. So, done with this guy. Let's jump onto the HMI and see where we at. Here we go. So, HMI is starting up. So, let's load him. And because already this controller has been already calibrated and set up and things like that, so everything in there uh, should already be looking pretty ready to go. So again, with more details, we're going to look at in a, the in a next video. So here we go. So the program now is inside the HMI. So let's check that. Uh, here we go. If I put my hand onto a uh, load cell, it's all working and it is ready to go. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, how you load the file into your HMI without having to have any fancy programs. So. Uh, only pro save that's all you need so that's uh, we'll do for the for this video regarding when it comes out to get 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 your hmi going so in the next video uh, which is going to be a part two video we will we'll check out a bit more of the settings as you can see in the settings oh yeah and by the way as you can see everything is in german just click sprech sprech in german is, it means a uh, uh, language just click on it and change it to english and it will reset the screen just give me a bit of a hand in here and uh, load in everything into English. So from there on, as you can see, set up and things like that, and we're gonna check that out in the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this is uh, all you pretty much need, but if you are wanting to check out a bit more about settings and what else this controller can do with HMI, definitely, definitely check out the next video, which is a part two. So other than that, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully you enjoy it, and it gives you good ideas and good uh, start up for your project. So yeah. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.